Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this absolutely freezing December day, we are celebrating the long-awaited arrival of our very first uh, 2022 model demonstrator, Adria. So this particular Adria is one of our best-selling coach-built Adrias. It is the Adria Compact Supreme DL. So the uh, Supreme range are the ones which are all in silver, metallic silver cab, and... Um, metallic silver uh, aluminium body uh, with GRP where it counts and this is our very very first van we've belatedly received on the new uh, Fiat Ducato X8 so the Fiat Ducato X8 doesn't really look much different from the outside let's um, have a quick comparison so that's an X8 that's not an X8 basically the same in fairness to it no difference there but we've got new alloy wheels for 2022 so these nice black Fiat alloys which are uh, quite on trend in fairness to it they look smart um, production ones are these you may or may not have heard there's all sorts of uh, supply problems hitting the motor industry with computer chips from China uh, and this has not been an easy time for Fiat to launch a new version of the Fiat Ducato it is just an interior facelift and a tweak to the engines in fairness to it but there is some new technologies as well uh, this one doesn't have the LED headlights production ones will have LED headlights and there's a couple of other differences between this and the later ones that we will see but it's nice to have our first 2022 Adria and our first Fiat Ducato X8 based van. So this one is the Adria Compact Supreme DL. It's a 2022. It's got single beds over a garage. It's a three stroke, four berth, four seat belts, three and a half tons. You can drive it on a normal car license. It's 140 horsepower. It's a 2.2 turbo diesel, this one. 6.99 meters long. It's a narrow body, 2.2 wide. 2.75 tall and this one which is a manual gearbox one with some factory options is priced at 69,740. So the compact range as I said they are the narrow body ones as you can see that's the widest point of the Fiat Ducato cab and the body goes straight up from there so it's no wider than this van conversion there and when you're going down the country lanes that's what counts. It's a lovely looking van. We'll have a walk around the outside. Now the DL means it's got a parallel twin sofa lounge with seat belts and the L means it's got single beds over a garage. So this is a very, very good seller. Adria, a Slovenian company of massive repute, part of the very large Trigano group. Um, but they are the luxury arm of it and they build really, really high quality motor homes. And obviously being Slovenian, they've had to spend the last 60 years that they've been in production exporting all of their products into Germany, France and Britain. And to beat the Germans at their own game, you have to be very, very good. And that's what Adria are. So we've got clear double glazed flush fit windows. We've got Truma Combi digitally controlled gas and electric heating and hot water. We've got a typical European gas locker which will take two 11 kilo gas bottles. Um, we don't do 11s in this country, we do 6s or 13s. 13s won't fit in because they're too fat, 6s will. Or if you want refillable LPG refillable bottles like Gaslo, we can fit those as well. Now at the back it's got the European layout or the German layout some people call it so you've got raised up single beds which turn into a huge double and that gives you a very large garage space uh, with two very large doors so I think they're both open yes they are so this is the view from one side beautifully finished door panels in there it's absolutely massive as you, you can see you've got some of the extra cushions scatter cushions carpets in the van obviously they wouldn't normally be in the garage you've got these tie down points which i really like it's heated in there your wastewater dump point is here and you've also got a valve and that will heat your wastewater tank so these are grade three fully winterized and actually designed for people who take them skiing you've got an internal freshwater tank and internal pipe work and an external wastewater tank but the wastewater tank as you can see from this diagram is twin skin and you can divert the heating around your wastewater tank to stop it from freezing up and to dump your fresh water tank you've got a um, an internal lever here there's a little key which is down there you put it into here twist it and that dumps your fresh water and that means you haven't got any pipes or anything like that coming out of the fresh water tank um, to freeze up which is very very good also in here lights heating so you can put the kids in there and you've got plug sockets in there as well for you to charge up your electronic devices electronic bikes or to plug in any external electronic items that you like at the back if you don't want to take up your garage with bikes uh, you can fit a bike rack on these factory fitted bike rack 
rails. You've got four reversing sensors, a standard and a reversing camera, all part of the uh, packs that this van has. Um, coming around the driver's side, we've got a wind-out two-lay awning in black, which looks lovely. We'll open up the garage again quickly here. You can see you've got one of your internal drawers. You've got your plug sockets with lots of USBs for your phones and 12 volt sockets and a main socket as well, which is handy not just for charging things in the garage, but when you are sat on the awning, under the awning, you can plug things in when you sat outside, which is great. Your fresh water fills up here. If you don't want to drive to a tap, you want to bring a container of water to the van, it comes with a submersible pump that plugs in here. It will suck the water into your onboard 140 litre fresh water tank. It's a particularly big fresh water tank as well. Those smart black new fair alloys, which I really, really like. Set the cassette toilet locker like they all have. Outside awning light like they all have. One slide in window there like that because you can give some ventilation to your passengers. So let's have a look at these wing mirrors, first of all. Short arm wing mirrors like the panel vans because it's a narrow van so they don't stick out too far. And then we've got your new X8 Fiat cab which I think we'll have a look at from the outside. This one's got the digital dash. Later production ones won't have the digital dash just to confuse you. New steering wheel, we've got Camos reversing camera fitted up there. Very very smart. We've got the Eco Pack which we had last year. To be honest it's not that different from the last Ducato. It's not super exciting. Uh, these are 2.2s now. The old engine was a 2.3 but these now use the Citroen Peugeot 2.2 that's been out a couple of years so it's not a new engine. Um, so the differences between this and the previous incarnation Fiat Ducato which finished this year are basically a mild interior facelift. So you've got an engine change but to a pre-existing engine. We've got chunkier uh, indicator stocks. We've got a new steering wheel which is very very smart, looks like a Mercedes Sprinter with lots of buttons on it and we've got what is a new sat nav that isn't actually new to Adria's but it is new to everything else. So uh, we'll have another look at this from the inside anyway. But it's, oh, We've got new door pockets as well with bottle holders and drinks holders so yeah they've just listened to what people want and uh, introduced it. So you've got four engines, a 120, a 140, which this is, 160 and 180. 140 is a sweet spot for most things in furnace to it. Let's have a little look inside the van. So we've got a centrally locked habitation door with a new door handle for this year. Fly screen door, of course. Nice Adria logo on the door and a bin, vitally important bin with a handle so you can carry it off and empty it. And we come straight into what is a very, very nice and very warm place to be. Now let's scroll out and have a quick pan around. So we've got your lovely front lounge. Despite being a narrow body van, there's plenty of room, plenty of feeling of space, lots of floor space if you've got a dog. Very, very light, super modern, but quite comfortable with it. So twin sofas, not huge, but they're not bad. Better than a dinette and twin swivelling captain seats. Gorgeous, massive panoramic skylight at the front. Another large skylight straight behind it. These lovely high gloss cabinet work. But it feels classy, it doesn't feel sort of tacky. Sometimes you can see some cheap vans with white cabinet work in it. Feels a bit MFI, but this doesn't. And if we look down the van there, we can see this is just a stunning place to be. It really, really is that nice. And one of the big things Adria do is they mirror the shapes all through the van. So we've got the corner shape from the table, which is mirrored there. It's mirrored in the shape of the cupboards up here as well. It's mirrored in that shape there, and it just draws the eye down. And it's just a really, really nice, clever, well-finished, well-built place to be. Adria's are not cheap vans. They used to be a manufacturer of cheap, tough Slovenian caravans back in the 80s. Um, but these are very, very premium motorhomes. And for what you get, they're not stupidly priced, but um, but yeah, they're very, very good things. Let's have another quick look while we're sat in the cab. A bit closer look at the new X8, which is the thing that we've all been waiting for. So there's that new steering wheel. It looks very similar to the Mercedes Sprinter steering wheel. Um, you've got voice controls. You've got buttons to control your things. It's a nice tactile thing. Leather bound as well. This is the new sat-nav. So um, last year's Fiat mainly had if they had the factory fitted sat nav a five and a half inch sat nav with tom tom mapping which is very pleasant and easy to use but it was quite dated it had been out since 2015 adria for last year got a new seven inch 
nav unit and that's what this is it seems to be a slightly different surround there to make it sit at a better angle but that's basically that that comes with uh, android autoplay apple carplay it will mirror your phone read your text messages stuff like that this bit's the same unless you go for climate control this bit's the same as last year it's a new gear knob this is a manual obviously most people go for the auto but this is a manual and then we've got some uh, new switch gear down here as well all the same function so you've got the uh, hill descent traction plus control central locking heated wing mirrors all the same bits this is new with a mute button on there for for a stereo control redesigned unit here i'm not quite sure what this thing is supposed to do or what you're supposed to sit in there i'm sure fiat will know that you can lift that out two better cup holders bottle holders still lacking in a high level coffee cup holder you've got this one here but still lacking in one for the driver but uh, it's, it's a better effort than the past switch gear including improved sort of plastic feel but it's nothing nothing over excitingly different compared to last year's Ducato anyway looking back down the van so this area here this one's got a rear facing seat belt on you've got a backrest you can drop in there there's a cushion you can drop in there, turn that into a forward facing seat belted seat and you can drop this table down and hash it into a big single small double bed. You'll get a couple of kids in there. Be a bit tight for two adults but you could do if you wanted. I'd sell it as a three stroke four berth van. You've got these nice high level lockers which you just push to open. This wood finish, I think that's new for this year, it's a slightly different, it's the wood finish which you'd have seen in the Plus last year I think, um, and a more sort of lighter, taupey sort of finished uh, trim there. Over the door as you come in you've got your Adria control panel, it's been out a few years, it's nice and simple, simple on off buttons for each thing and your gauges and your heating controls over there. That's all easy enough. Your TV, doesn't come with a TV area, we can fit one quite cheaply, your TV goes on that brackets up there and that will come down so you can sit around and watch it of an evening obviously your table would normally be lengthways but you can swivel it around good kitchen for a european van they don't major in kitchens but this is a nice kitchen space and look at that beautiful lighting again it's really really nice so you've got a nice big three burner hob which i like the fact you can just clean it and sort of push your junk into the sink there that's good uh they put in an oven for the british markets only the british would want an oven in vans but adri have given us a decent one it's a combi thetford oven and grill that is actually usable size that's obviously gas powered deep drawers very deep deep drawers there and that's massive and there's another one of them two of them underneath are there a decent sized sink as well with a bit of workspace but what you could do is you could prep on your table which obviously folds out to double in size and then cook in your kitchen. Coming to the back there, we've got a wardrobe. We've actually got a couple of wardrobe spaces. So good sized wardrobe there. You can also, I can work out how to do it, put things underneath of here. I think that's got a hanging rail, so only got storage. Same on the other side as well. And then you've got a decent sized 12 volt fridge freezer. Because it's a narrow body van, they've gone 12 volt fridge freezers, they're different shapes and sizes, they are more reliable and with a solar panel or two leisure battery set up, you're pretty much self-contained with them. There is a factory option if you factory order one of these to have a bigger fridge freezer but then you lose most or you lose your biggest wardrobe. Bathroom, narrow body vans seldom have a separate shower because they just don't have the width for it but it's a nice bathroom space and it does have a separate shower. Where is it? I hear you ask. Well, this is the uh, shower that was debuted for 2019 in the Adria Twin Supreme range. Uh, very, very popular. So they put it in the compacts and it's been a real winner. The clue is here with the uh, Northern Soul style hand print. Just grab it, pull it out and then that allows your whole unit to come across. Swing walls have been out for 20, 30 years now and this is one of the best applications of one I've seen. Really good hanging rail up there for your wet stuff and a uh, little skylight for ventilation and then your bog standard Thetford toilet over there. Tambour door makes best use of space. Coming to the back of the van it's a layout which you'll see in hundreds of European vans and that's because it works. So we've got twin single beds 
with an infill as you can see there you can pull out to turn into a massive double bed and it works because you've got a bigger bed either singles or a double this one's got adjustable backrests as well so you can clear these cupboards and sit up in bed and read which is a huge thing and Heimer in particular don't understand that so they put deeper cupboards in and non lifting beds these have got lifting backrests which is great in this Adria two windows we like that as well three high level closed cupboards a big full size opening wind up skylight two opening big side windows at the back there as well we've got some nice lighting and we've got usb chargers built in either side to those spotlights which is a really good idea so you can have a phone each um you could probably have a tv point back here if you wanted to i can't see one factory fitted but i'm sure we could fit one if you must have two tvs in your van and then more storage oh Blimey, that was a bit sharp. More storage underneath of there. That's really strong, those, uh, those catches on there. Underneath the foot of the bed here, we've got a hanging rail. So if you did go for the bigger fridge freezer option, you've still got some hanging space. Yeah, that's the uh, drawer which we saw in the garage there. So loads and loads of storage, loads of light, loads of modernity, loads of quality. These are really, really good vans. Uh, now if you want to buy one we're pretty much sold out unfortunately you may have as I touched on before heard that the motor vehicle manufacturers are really struggling to build vans at the moment because of the Chinese computer chip semiconductor shortage and that meant has meant that Fiat have cancelled or can't build as many Fiat's as they want to and that's unfortunately hit motor caravan manufacturers and that has meant that well what was left of our ad is and it's only December and the models only came out in in September but people have been pre-ordering these for many many months because they missed out for 2021 they got in early for 2022 so there weren't that many left unsold and I think pretty much all if not all of them have now been cancelled but the remaining unsold ones anyway so do speak to us nonetheless uh, we are Highbridge Motorhomes Devon uh, we'll have a chat with you and work out exactly what we can or can't get anymore and this will be the same for every Adria dealer and not just Adria most motorhome manufacturers it is a very interesting marketplace at the moment with massive demand minimal supply prices have gone up a bit unfortunately as well but if you look at what a van like this offers you quality space modernity and as an investment these as a long-term proposition are very very good and if we can't get you one for 2022 we can talk about um, reserving a bill slot for the very very start of 2023 for you um, as soon as they are announced so we are Highbridge Caravans Devon branch any questions ring us up at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch please ring the Devon branch and speak to us we're very very nice uh, not the Somerset branch Somerset branch are fine too though if you must um, about this amazing Adria Compact Supreme DL. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.